Hey, we were talking about this in class this week, how I cut my own hair. I think it looks passably good. Uh, so here's how I do it. After I get out of the shower, my hair is wet. I would um, probably part it right down the center and into pigtails. And obviously my hair is not wet right now. So it just has this funky cow look. It likes to part itself. So we'll pretend for you or for your sake, if you center part your hair, center part it all the way down the back into pigtails. And then I like to cut it sort of into four sections. You've probably seen your hairdresser do this, that they'll draw a line through like the front quarter of your head and then pull that hair forward. So essentially what we're doing is the hair that would usually fall in front of your ears is in front of your ears. So I cut it in two, in pigtails, and then I cut it so that everything down like the front quarter is pulled forward. All right, front quarter pulled forward. This is where it seems too easy to be true. So here's what I do. I pull the pigtails forward. So my lovely ears are sticking out. So that I think helps this like midsection come forward. It gets cut short enough. If you put it behind your ears, it'll stick out a little longer and you get this like kind of flying nun thing that you've got to chop off. This is literally what I do. I pull it all forward. I twist it towards the back, although you could probably twist it towards the front. I don't really understand how this works. <laughs> okay, so twist it. And then I measure. Am I cutting one finger off? Am I cutting two fingers off? I will measure with my fingers. I'm like not even very fancy with how I measure. And then I cut straight across. Because it's twisted, when you let it go, it's not a blunt cut. So you kind of hide the fact that you're, you're never going to cut a straight line. Let's just accept what we can't change in life. I do the same thing on the other side. I twist. I measure. One, two, I haven't gone as far as three. I don't know what's gonna happen if that happens. One finger or two, straight across. There you go. You might have to finish it up a little bit in the back. It might be a little uneven. You fix one side or the other. If you do get like a long piece like I did, in the center section, you twist that and cut it. Okay, if you want the front to be shorter, we make, and you're supposed to use a brush and do it like really tight, a unicorn ponytail. You put it in a hair elastic. You make a ponytail, you get your scissors, and the same thing. You measure one, two, whatever, however many fingers you like, and then you cut. When you throw your hair back, you have nice layers around your face, a little bit of fringe. There you go. Good luck.